verify that these numbers aren't still being logged. So we're good now. So this shows you how you can uh, profile your JavaScript execution, uh, but there's more to uh, you know rendering your page and making your page fast than, than JavaScript, and we can look at that by uh, in this timeline uh, tool. And here again, uh, I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to record here, um, but I actually want to get the page loading as well. So I'm going to try to act fairly quickly here. Minimize this. All right, so I'm going to record, and then I'm going to reload the page, and I'm going to start this thing up, and then I'm going to pause the recording, and let's see what I got in here. Actually, let me maximize this. Okay, so we have uh, three different categories of things that are being measured here. The stuff in blue is the resource loading. Next, we have uh, the JavaScript execution in yellow. And in purple, we have the DOM rendering. And we have a record of pretty much everything that happened on that page in that time that I was uh, re recording. And you can see there's just tons and tons of info in here. If, if, it, if it turns out the thing that's causing the performance problem is your CSS, is, uh, would you see that, I guess, in the DOM loading section or earlier here? Uh, yeah, so uh, that's going to be, um, well, uh, it could depend on how your CSS is being set, but, but uh, let's say that you had a crazy amount of CSS rules. That's going to show up in your, in your DOM performance. On the other hand, if you're doing something with JavaScript to set the CSS, it could show up in the JavaScript we'll execution. Will you be able to find out which CSS rule is causing the problem or which set? Um, no. You, with this with this tool, you can probably get down to that level of detail. How would you, how would, I don't see anything here. That yeah, so... Uh, at all, so how would that happen? Well, so let me... Um, I, I don't know about CSS on this page, but... Uh, so... Conflict style. Sure. Conflict style. Uh, yeah, there you go. So, like, if you saw a ton... Like, if you had too many CSS rules, you might see recalculating style over and over again, and I would give you a hint. Um, to give uh, an example of this page, so I, uh, after I loaded, I did a mouse click. Um, so let's say there was something, an issue with that mouse click, I'm interested in finding out what's going on there. So I could, uh, I think what I would want here is I'll filter by the, uh, I think I want scripting events, and so I have an event here for mouse move. That's not what I want. At some point I should have. Okay, so here's a mouse out and a mouse click. So they're happening right here. So I can actually zoom in on this portion of the timeline. So I'm going to do that here. And then I'm going to put back my other, other views as well. Um, so if I can find where I had my... So here's my mouse up and my mouse click, and I can expand these and see, uh, for example, the the JavaScript functions that were called when when uh, when I actually clicked and when my mouse went up, and that's how you can associate events uh, back to or associate your JavaScript back to back to events. Um, it might be a little more difficult, or I, it would be a little more difficult if you if you're having a CSS issue, but I. I think in most cases you should be able to track it down using using this tool. Um, so I think that's all I'm going to say about this one. Um, sorry, what? Oh, uh, so I uh, oh I closed that uh, console, but uh, in the timeline there's a record button here. Yes, I closed the fractal window. But but the record button is right here. So you just click to start and stop recording. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a, a record button in the timeline as well as in the uh, the profiler. Sure.
Okay. Um, so with that, I am going to take questions. Uh, so I decided that with these questions, hold on one sec. Uh, since I am, uh, since I'm not on the DevTools team, there is a high probability that I'm not going to know the answer to your question. So rather than incenting myself to make up some BS stuff, uh, I'm just going to, we're going to do this like baseball style. So if I don't know the answer to your question, I'm just going to give myself a, a strike. And if I get three strikes, I'll, I'll be out. But, uh, <laughs> but I, I will get you an answer to your question. And I'll also get you an answer to your question if, uh, if you don't have a chance to ask me one. So uh, the way we can do that is, uh, uh, if you have a question and I can't answer it, uh, just uh, ping me on Twitter. That's the easiest way to get in touch with me these days. Uh, and as long as uh, Google, you know, I, I can get permission to answer your question, I will get back to you with an answer. So on Twitter, I'm at uh, Bugle, B-Y-O-O-G-L-E. And uh, I mentioned we had a bunch of other uh, places for you to go. So if you're interested in getting more info about the DevTools or the WebKit Inspector, or you're interested in contributing uh, code to it, uh, you can head to these URLs, so uh, chromium.org slash devtools, uh, which is that page that I was demoing on. There's also a similar page for the web inspector. Uh, it's a little bit long, so I won't read that off. But if you just Google web inspector, this should be the first or second page that shows up. And then very importantly, uh, for all those great feature requests, and if you have any bugs, uh, we definitely want you to submit them for uh, you can just submit them all at crbug, crbug.com slash new. That's the, uh, the Chrome issue, the Chromium issue tracker. There's also one for WebKit um, at webkit.org slash new dash inspector dash bug. But if you're using the dev tools and you find some bug, you don't have to figure out if it's a, uh, if it's a WebKit bug or if it's a dev tools bug. If you just put it in our, in our Chromium issue tracker, we'll figure out the, the right place for the bug to go. So Brian, can you either post the slides? I already. Post these links? We will post the a link to it. I actually already put a comment on the meetup event with this the short link to your slide. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, so yeah, this is the the last slide in my deck. You, yeah, the jump dot slash uh, exactly. CR Dev Tools. Yes. So I put a comment on this meetup event with that link in it. So just go there and go to the last slide to get all this information. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Yes. Your question. Can we get some information about Index DB in the browser? Um, yes, so uh, spec is still in flux. Eh? It's so confusing what's going on at this point. But uh, so the question is, uh, can we get some information on what's going on with uh, index uh, index DB in the in the browser? So uh, currently, uh, Chrome has the Web SQL database uh, uh, API implemented. Um, I think that we're going to do index DB as well. And I think we'll have them both implemented, but uh, we're kind of waiting for the, the specs to, to settle down. And it's not really clear which one is going to, uh, to necessarily win in, in, the, in the long run. Um, so it, it's hard to give a really a definitive answer at this point. Um, I think the, maybe the spec was finalized like a week or two ago only. Yeah, I'm, I'm personally a little concerned about SQL in my front end code. Mm -hmm. um, there. Yeah. Um, plugins and things like that, it seems to make sense. But again, I, I, I'm hoping that there's a consistent data architecture for plugins. Mm -hmm. well, when you say plugins, do you mean plugins, plugins or extensions? extensions. Oh, okay. So like, if I were to do an extension in Firefox and Chrome, it'd be nice to 